Thank you. Good afternoon. I'd like to thank the AHPBA for the opportunity to present our work today. We have no disclosures relevant to the topic of presentation. Cystic lesions of the pancreas include a wide range of pathologic entities with variable associated biologic behavior. Their incidental identification is on the rise. The reported frequency of these lesions in patients undergoing cross-sectional abdominal imaging is as high as 20 percent. And once identified, their management is oftentimes controversial. And the diagnosis of this specific subtype relies heavily on preoperative imaging. Although conventionally used, CT scans have recently been shown to be relatively poor at accurate diagnosis of the lesion subtype as well as prediction of the malignant potential. In contrast, MRI provides a theoretical advantage in improved soft tissue contrast visualization as well as ductal evaluation using MRCP technology. In spite of this, direct comparison studies between the two have been relatively few. Therefore, we hypothesize that when compared with CT, MRI improves diagnostic accuracy in the evaluation of cystic lesions of the pancreas. In order to explore this hypothesis, we performed a retrospective review of a single institution prospectively maintained pancreatic surgical database. We performed a query for surgical pathologic report mention of cystic pancreatic lesions, inclusive of the listed um, histologies. We then further narrowed our study group to those patients who underwent CT and MRI on a preoperative uh, basis within a 90-day period preceding their date of operation. Using surgical pathology reports as standards for comparison, each CT and MRI with their associated reports was assigned a score from 1 to 5 based on their proposed diagnoses. A score of 1 was considered a definitive study in which the correct answer was proposed as a single or top diagnosis. A score of two is considered suggestive, in which mention is made of the correct answer within a narrow range of possible diagnoses of equal likelihood. This was less or equal to three diagnoses. For purposes of our analysis, scores of one or two were considered helpful preoperative studies. A score of three was assigned for studies that were considered somewhat suggestive. In other words, they made mention of the correct answer within a wide range of possible diagnoses greater than three in the not infrequent scenario where the radiologic impression read something along the lines of pancreatic cystic lesion, pseudocyst versus neoplasm, uh, the score of three was assigned. A score of four was considered to be vague in which the study does not make any mention of the possibility of the correct diagnosis anywhere within the report. A score of five was considered contradictory in which the study makes the correct diagnosis um, or the study does not mention the correct diagnosis as a possibility and the top proposed diagnosis is actually inaccurate or contradictory to the correct diagnosis. The median scores for the CT and MRI groups were ascertained and compared using the Mann Whitney U test and the overall score distributions for the respective groups compared using chi-squared analysis. Between January 1, 2000 and August 31, 2008, 148 patients underwent operative interventions for cystic lesions of the pancreas. Of those, 96 patients underwent same institution CT and or MRI within a 90-day period preceding the date of operation. Depicted in this chart here is the distribution of preoperative studies as they were done at our institution. As you can see, the proportion of patients who underwent CT only was fairly similar to the proportion of patients who underwent MRI. An additional 12% of those patients underwent um, both studies. Depicted in this chart is the distribution of lesions by histology. As you can see, nearly half of the patients underwent resection for mucinous tumors, including IPMN, mucinous, mucinous cystadenomas, as well as adenocarcinomas. This was followed by a quarter of the study population that had a serious cystadenomas and 20% of the patients that had pseudocysts. The distribution of operation type is depicted in this chart. As you can see, the left pancreatectomy was the most frequent operation performed, followed by pancreatic duodenectomy. According to the previously described scoring algorithm, the CT and MRI reports were assigned scores from 1 to 5. Depicted in this chart is the diagnostic score distribution between the two groups. The statistical analysis of the distributions overall did not yield significant differences. We also ascertained the median scores for the two groups. For CT, it was three. For MRI, it was two. Although that trend was observed, again, it was not statistically significant. However, when we analyzed the proportion of the studies within the MRI and CT groups that achieved scores of one or two, in other words, the helpful preoperative studies that were able to generate a narrow differential, 
62.3% of MRIs were able to achieve that versus only 43.6% of CTs. The p-value for this was 0 0.05. In other words, there was a marginal level of significance um, and a trend towards improved preoperative identification of, of cystic lesions using MRI. We then performed a similar comparison analysis within an in the individual histologic categories depicted in this table are the proportion of studies with a definitive accurate proposed diagnosis, in other words, a score of one. Although no statistically significant differences were identified, you can see that within the category of IPMN, 50% of the MRIs were able to achieve a score of one versus only 13% of CTs.